Welcome to today's episode of How the Game is Won. We're at the European Team Championship and we're looking at the game between Wojciech with the white pieces and Raga with the black pieces. And without further ado, let's see how the opening played itself out. Opening with d4, knight f6, c4, g6, knight f3, bishop g7, g3, c6, bishop g2, d5, king b3, castles, castles, king b6, knight c3, rook d8, knight a4, king b, takes in b3, a takes in b3, knight a6, bishop f4, e6, knight c3, knight a7, rook a4, a6, and as you can see we're running Headstrong into the Fianchetto Grunfeld defense. With rook d1, bishop e6, h3, rook a to c8, uh, c5, h6, g4, g5, bishop h2, f5, g takes an f5, bishop takes an f5, knight e5, knight f6, and the rate that the players were playing the game in the, uh, in the championship itself, they're playing it just about the type of pace that you see me running through the moves at the moment, so they're both still very much within their home preparation. Rook a to a1, rook f8, e3, knight e6, f3, rook c to d8, b4, knight d7, knight takes in d7, rook takes in d7, rook d2, bishop g6, knight e2, and at this stage they started giving the game a little bit of thought, and we continue with knight d8, rook f1, knight f7, f4, e6, king h1, and king h7. There's nothing really special going on in the position, and the, and everything's round about equal. And with accurate play, the game is effectively heading through a, probably another series of equal positions until an eventual draw. But here, what just Sek makes an uncharacteristic positional error by bringing his knight back to g1. And it still seems as if nothing happening, but Raga is alert and takes his opportunity uh, to make uh, to make best use of that uh, now out of place knight sitting on the edge of the board by playing g takes an f4 e takes an f4, for instance, if, um, what you say, could play, for instance, bishop takes an f4, then you would have had e5, d takes e5, with e7, and giving black a clear cut positional advantage with the rook barreling down on the isolated double pawn sitting there in the center of the board. But, what you say, played e takes an f4, And knight h8, which is an excellent move by Marcus, uh, because he would like to place his bishop on f5, and then his knight on g6, and then that would be able to attack that lonesome, isolated f4 pawn, which now becomes the focal point, obviously, of this attack. Rook e1, bishop f5, knight f3, knight g6, Knight e5, and bishop takes an e5. Of course, the g6 knight is more important than the bishop at the moment, and it's very important to note that when you do have a strong positional advantage like what Raga has at the moment, it's important to push that positional advantage until eventually the tactical opportunities start raising their head. If takes an e5, Knight h4, bishop g3, knight takes g2, king takes g2, and rook g7. And what started off as a positional idea with uh, black placing pressure on the isolated f pawn that white had at his disposal has now turned, out, turned into an out and out attack on the white king with both rooks barreling down the open files. And it's just a matter of time before something has to give. King h2, bishop e4, which then in turn closes off the potential escape routes for the, for the king via h1, and it's just getting more and more uncomfortable for the white king. Rook g1, 
rook f3, h4, bishop f5, rook g to g2, and rook g4, bishop f2, and rook h3. In this position, should um, wedges take have played, for instance, something like king takes an h3, rook takes on d4, and it will be a discovered check with the with the discovered check and the rook falls on the very next move. So instead of playing that, uh, which is like play king to g1, but that simply allowed the bishop to come to e4. And there is way too much pressure coming down onto that rook sitting on g2. And in this position, what is it? Resigned, the win goes to Raga with the black pieces, and that, my friends, is how the game was won. Feel free to share this video out amongst all of your chess friends. Remember, give me the thumbs up if you like this type of video content, that way you help me to produce better videos for you in the future. Post any comments, questions, criticisms that you have in the comment section down below. And don't forget, down below the screen is a big red subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, that way you stay subscribed to my channel for all the new chess content that's coming out to you on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. Until we meet again, stay carved up for the win out there. I'll see you then. Cheers.